Hi, today I'm going to show you how to remote debugging Qt application on Raspberry Pi with Qt Creator. If you think the video is useful, click like and subscribe my channel. Now first, let's create a project. Test. To make remote, remote debugging work, you need first uncheck check the forward to local display and leave it here. And then you need to add two variables in system environment. I will put the, a link to this tutorial in the video details. Yeah, we can set set break point. Well, as you can see, it worked. If you need to access peripherals, uh, for example, you need to using Hi GPIO. Let's see what will happen. Let's just initialize the library. Link. We need to link the library. We don't have the permission to run the, the, this program. So you need to unlock loot, loot account on Raspberry Pi. Now let's connect in Raspberry Pi using SSH. First, we set the password for the root account. And then we unlock the root account. And we need change configure. Uh, I already made this change. If you don't, just uncommon the, the parameters and uh, make sure this parameter is yes. And then we need to use root account to deploy the program. device we need to use root and uh, you if you, you you can create a new key for the for the root account and then deploy the the pub, public key to the device 
I already done that before, so I just need to open these files. Now let's test. Yeah, it worked. And then we need to modify the system variable. We need to repay, replace X authority with this now let's see yeah we can run this program with enough mission if we are going to set a break point Yeah, it worked. So next, I'm going to show you how to speed up the debugging. We go to the debugger, uncheck use automatical symbol cache because it will tell you you don't have permission to create index cache so you just uncheck it and use this command and uh, this is the directory of the binaries generated by cross compilations of qt6 if you don't know what it is then then there's link and a video and, and I have another video to show you how to make the binary for Raspberry Pi. So if we set a command here and uh, you can speed up remote bugging. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video.